Turn look at the horizon. Might help alleviate the nausea. I don't notice my stomach yet. Watching Scotland fall away is causing pain enough. The second half of season three is so exciting. It's like nothing we've seen before. It takes us outside of Scotland, outside of Paris, to a new land and a new world. Most important thing right now is that we find young Ian. Young Ian is Jamie's nephew. Very nice to meet you, Ian. Young Ian has been captured by some pirates, so Jamie and Claire head off in pursuit. Ian! So this voyage becomes very dramatic and uh, surprising. Fergus, nicely. No, I am going to be sick. Starting off, you know, we leave Scotland, but it's not just the move straight to the Caribbean. There's three episodes that really take place majority on the journey. So we looked at a lot of places, and we found Cape Town was the right place for us, not only because of all the facilities, but because they had ships. It's such a huge endeavor for us as a production, moving to a separate country and shooting for four months. Roll sound. When we arrived here in South Africa and we were shown the sets and the incredible ships, just the scale of them was amazing. Jamie and Claire hit all these obstacles on this epic adventure to the Caribbean. We've been weeks without wind. The men want to throw someone overboard. Go on, go! We also encounter a British naval vessel, which doesn't sit very well with Jamie. Restrain Mr. Fraser and take him below. Just when we think we've seen it all, we are thrust once again into a huge new adventure. We suffered an outbreak of infectious plague. Have you a surgeon on board? It's a very dangerous time for Claire and Jamie. I know you are, mistress. It's a new voyage in a new world. <laughs> James Fraser, you were charged with high treason. Thank you. 